Well, you've had a tough time in your career of late, haven't you? How does it feel? Does this feel like complete vindication it, of what you've been doing? It feels amazing. It feels quite emotional, actually, watching that. Aww. It's fantastic. And uh, just so proud to be part of this group now of teachers across the world that are doing great things. I can't wait to meet them. This is brilliant. Now, look, I'm, I'm from Birmingham, where you're from, and obviously, you know, it's been covered a lot in the local news in Birmingham, and it's now hit the nat national press as well. Uh, what are the objections of some of these children? Because you're, you, you've ch formed this programme called the Outsiders Programme. No outsiders. Uh, no outsiders. There are program. no outsiders. There are no outsiders. But some, some parents, majority Muslim, I believe some Christian families as well, have objected to your teachings about homosexuality and living together with gay people um, to their children. Is, is that generally it? Is there more...? Is yes. There more... So, the point of No Outsiders is it's for parent children for life in modern Britain, so we're all different, we can get along. Mm -hmm. You can have black skin, brown skin, white skin, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Sikh, Jewish, be gay or lesbian, have disabilities, but we can be friends, we can get along. Now, I understand that some communities have tensions with the LGBT, LGBT, LGBT aspect. But you know what, we've got to work a way to get through this because in the UK there are gay people mm. and that's okay, that's good. Um, so we have to work together, we've got to get through this together and we will get through it together, we'll find a way. Mm. Um, how uh, has the... Um, I mean, there, there are protests, aren't there, but there are also yeah. um, emails and letters being sent. What kind of things are being said about what you're doing? Yeah, I've had some very threatening emails and uh, and uh, uh, and messages. Uh, but tonight, well, I've also had a lot of support from many parents in my school. I had a nice sort of story. I had a, 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 a mum came to me a couple of weeks ago. She got to see me by saying a child was being bullied. She got into me and said, "He's not being bullied. I want you to know I support you." <laughs> and many are with me. So there are a lot. There are protests outside, but there are also lots of parents who are supportive of this work, and they see it in context. Parents from Muslim backgrounds. Yes, as well, in yeah. my school, my mum and dad will tell me certain things, and they were from. A religious perspective but you went to school and you got another perspective you went well, hang out with your mates you got another perspective surely that's what life's about isn't it we yeah. want to get different perspectives just just because something doesn't fit into our religious belief doesn't mean we shouldn't learn about it and, and as young kids should be able to make their own minds up. you must have read my book absolutely agree with you it's about different identities it's about different ideas yeah. but we, we can coexist yes. doesn't it can coexist together mm. let me just put a point to you i mean ofsted have come out on completely on your side obviously they're saying that, um, you know, children need to be taught about, as you say, society beyond their family life. Yes. Uh, there's somebody, one mother, who wants to remain anonymous, which is sort of the problem with um, threats and things, isn't it, or whatever. But she says her daughter attends Parkfield School, that she feels that she, her daughter is too young to be taught what goes on in someone's bedroom. It's something that we would like to teach our children ourselves and we feel like it's being forced upon us. Do you understand that point of view, that actually four, five, six, for some parents, might well be too young to talk about these issues? I want to be absolutely clear that there's nothing in the outside about, about anything about anyone's bedroom. You know, we're not talking about sex here. It's nothing to do with what goes on in a, in, in a bedroom. This is about different families. And if, you, if, if, if the argument about people being too young, my argument would be that some children have got two mummies or got two daddies, mm. and a three-year-old, two-year-old, they have to know that their family is OK. And, That's what this work is about. And obviously you're feeling really buoyant and positive today, but has it got you down? I mean, you resign from a previous job, didn't you, over similar issues with your programme? It was a very different situation, but yes, uh, I did. And what I did, uh, I learned from that, uh, that, that situation and I rewrote my resources and I rewrote it as no outsiders to include all the qualities, not just LGBT. I mean, what, what puzzles me is that you know, many schools, and your school included, will teach lots of young children, lots of storybooks about heterosexual relationships. Yes. Some of them that, that don't involve marriage. Now, that is anti-Islamic too. I don't see Muslims in Birmingham protesting to that. So it's clear clearly is an, an element of homophobia going on here. I don't think it's a thing about well, we're protecting our children. And I think that is, that is a fundamental issue, which perhaps is outside of your control as a school teacher. But that is, I think that is personally, as a British Muslim, I think that's something the community mm. has got to look at. Well, I, I, I would agree with you. And I think for me, it's about community cohesion. This work is all about bringing communities together. You know, I saw on the news just a, a moment ago, you had about, about the 16-year-old boy stabbed in Small Heath. That's a yeah. tragic, a, a horrific, you know, a, a thing to happen. This work is all about community cohesion. Why does that happen? How can we stop hate crime? How can we stop fear of difference? It's programmes like this in schools mm. from four years onwards, teaching children that we ha you have brown skin, I have white skin. Mm. Do you know what? We can get on, we can be friends. Andrew Moffat, I think you're absolutely brilliant. I, I, can, I can imagine there's lots of teachers that perhaps would want a slightly easier life <laughs> and not want to go to a school like this, which I know the area, I know it's come as all these difficulties, so 
I'm going to shake your hand as a brummy. Thank you very much for Thank what you're you. doing in our city. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And do you have a big glittering awards ceremony to go to? Yes, in Dubai in about, in about Dubai? a month. In Dubai? Absolutely. Look at yes. you, eh? I know. Can't believe it. Should I be coming it? with you just as a bit of support? You should. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, okay. we'll talk afterwards. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Thank you.